I remember like walking down the streets of Spain and seeing the pastry shops with these really large like chunks of empanada gallega in the window. You pick it up, it's room temperature, it's ready to go and eat it on the street. It's one of the best bites that I've ever had. Hi, I'm Katie Button, and right now I'm gonna show you how to make empanadillas, which are small empanadas made with sofrito, the building block of Spanish cuisine. Please do not forget, subscribe now so that you can catch the other two dishes, pescado con sofrito, which is a fish dish, as well as arroz, a rice dish. The first thing that I'm gonna do is make our dough. About a cup and a half of flour, about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna whisk those together to incorporate, make a little well in the center. This is approximately a half a cup of water and one egg. Use my whisk just to get that egg broken and started. Once the egg and the water is mixed together, I use my hands, the best tool, to bring the dough together. It's nice to use your hands because then you won't overwork the dough. Once it all comes together, let the dough rest. I'm gonna wash these. <laughs> so once your dough has rested, about 10 minutes, we're going to roll it out. I've got some lard in the freezer. I love the flavor of lard. You could certainly use butter instead. Grating lard is very messy. Spread the lard out in the middle. Now what we're going to do is fold the pastry over turn it and roll it out again. This is kind of like a puff pastry style method. Fold it again. Once you fold it twice, we're gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge to rest. Rested. The first time that I had an empanada in Spain, it was an empanada gallega, kind of similar to the one that I'm making today. I remember walking down the streets and seeing the pastry shops. You pick it up, it's room temperature, it's ready to go and eat it on the street. It's one of the best bites that I've ever had. Okay, this looks thin enough. Basically as thin as you can get it before you feel like it's going to rip. The thinner that the empanada dough is, the more delicate that the final pastry will be. And I wanna to try to get four of them out of this dough. So I basically have just a bowl. Once you've made the empanada dough like this, you can freeze it. It's kind of nice to do it ahead of time, which makes throwing together like a lunch or something not much easier. After you've made these, you wanna throw them in the freezer so that they can kind of have a minute to rest and set. Just gonna line a sheet tray with some parchment and very carefully transfer these. And now I'm making the filling. The rest of my sofrito here, I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And we're just kind of gonna eyeball what looks right. So I'm gonna take an egg and cut it into pieces. If I was making like a bigger empanada, I, I probably wouldn't cut these as much, leave like chunkier pieces. To pit olives, you can just smash them with your knife and then peel. These are cornicabra olives. They're kind of briny. They're a little similar to a calamata. In Spain, they're kind of masters of canned seafood. It's like the whole pieces of tuna that are in the can here. Flaky and delicious and packed by hand lots of times in order to like make the loins of the tuna fit in so well. Look for it in olive oil for sure, not packed in water. It needs a pinch of salt. The olives and the tuna are briny, but remember I didn't season the sofrito when we made it, so it just needs a touch of salt. All right, got four empanada dough rounds. They come straight out of the freezer and they warm up really fast. The filling, and in this bowl, I have some egg wash, and then I have a sheet tray that's prepared for the oven. You wanna put in as much filling as you can fit in there and still close it so that the dough doesn't rip and also like you can get a good seal. Maybe my eyes are bigger than what, you know, they should be actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of overstuffing. 
Not much, just a little bit. If you have more than half an inch around that edge, then you don't have enough filling in it. Once you've made sure that you've sealed them really good around the edge, just take a fork and push down even more. That crimping is going to help ensure that they stay closed. The egg wash is there because it's gonna make it brown up a little more evenly. It'll be crispy and shiny. Okay, that's it. Now the oven's at 450. Put them in for about 15 minutes. Oh, they look amazing. They're beautiful and brown and super toasted. I love these in particular because first of all, the dough is super flaky and crunchy, if you can hear that. And the filling, there's like brininess from the olives and the umami that the tuna brings. Also the sofrito is the caramelized sweetness, the richness and the hard boiled egg for texture. And they're my favorite empanada and these look perfect. Mm. I don't know if you can see just how many layers of dough there are with that simple folding technique with the lard. I've made, I mean, you can make empanadas with, really, you can fill them with anything. They're a good use for leftovers. Be sure to subscribe to check out all the other videos of the things that I've made with sofrito, the building block of Spanish cooking, pescado con sofrito, a fish dish, as well as aperol. If you try this at home, please comment below and let me know what you're putting in your empanadilla.